Hello lovely butterflies, welcome to this journal Monday, week 167. I took out the butterfly stamp from my Creepers and Crawlers stamp set and some archival ink and I'm just going to stamp alongside the edge. I'm almost at the end of my journal. Yep. Which always gives a sense of fulfillment and at the same time a bit of stress because that means I will have to start a new journal. And I love this one. So I'm not ready to say goodbye yet. But for now, let's just stamp this one alongside here. I want these to act as a resist for the next layer, so I'm just going to paint them using ultramatte varnish, which is going to be very boring because there will be nothing to see, yet I need to paint them all using this. I took out a couple of Neo Colors 2, which are water soluble. I'm going to repeat this, except this, this time I'm going to apply my color here.
going to repeat this once more to keep on building up layers. And in case you're wondering, this is from Caran d'Ache and one side is texturized, which is to be used with the new colors. And the back side is smooth for acrylic paints. So just going to repeat this and this time I'm going to add a bit of rust, of course. to push part of it into the background and I'm not going to do it with a brayer I'm going to do it with a paintbrush So I have to work quickly to make sure that the moist of my paint doesn't move the new color around. And you know what, I'm going to water this down and that will help me put a thinner layer in a quicker way.
now I want to build up even more. See if I can make it look a little bit more grungy by lifting back some of that color where I have the paint going on. I think that's about as grungy as I can get it because my paper is starting to suffer from all the water and rubbing. I'm going to start by adding my number stamps here. Maybe that will... take this where I would like it to go. some dramatic darkness on this side so I'm going to use my charcoal pencil Thank you. 
white Posca pen and I'm going to highlight the butterflies. I prepped the stamp from my London, New York stamp set as well as the die cut um, butterfly whispers from the butterfly, which I'm now going to use as a mask. And I want to use the background, so I am making sure that it's lying. So I'm stamping this way, so I need to put it down this way because I do want to use that other side. So I don't want to let it go to waste. And just some archival ink. And no, I'm not using a block. And I am not inking my stamp in a regular way. But I have not enough fingers. my large circle stencil and my rusty color intense pencil This is a Unipin um, and the color is called, what is this called, sepia. So it's a sepia one and I'm just going to redo my circle. It's a 0.01 so it's super super thin. So it's not black, so it's way less intense. And yet it will allow me to enhance the circle. To add some more interest. Wording. Let's see if I want to add a wording to this. And since I have my Butterfly Mix Media stickers, I have not been using my word stamps, I have to admit. Except for the numbers, I'm always going for. It's so easy to add and I can give them the color that I want. I took out two of my uh, Butterfly Whisper butterfly whispers sticker sheet this one is the number two this one is always available this one is the january one so it's no longer available unfortunately but from this one i want to use um what did i see from this one that i did want to use oh yes this one don't wait the time will never be right and it is a big one but I still have a whole spread here that I can use, so I can just stick it down here. There we go. And then have my one little word. Well, it's not one, it's three from the January sticker sheet. And I'm going to size it down just a little. 
And I don't know if you can hear what is going on outside, but the weather is just crazy. I don't know what is falling out of the sky, but it's making a lot of noise. And then here it's going to say the power of words. And this one would be a little bit better if it was straight. And the good thing is you can reposition these. Isn't that cool? So I don't want to give them too much color. I do like the fact that they're wide. I'm just going to give this one a little bit of depth. Just by giving it some shading. That's all there is to it. Maybe a hint of blue. Yeah, I said I wasn't give, going to give it any color and yet now I'm adding some blue. And that is not some, that's a lot. And some green to make it work with the rest. Someone please stop me. That's a cool thing about these stickers. You can keep on going. Now, just to show that this is not just an accident that this is sitting there, let's just give it a bit of a shading as well. And to tone it down, just going in with my kneadable eraser. to embed it a bit in the paper. It needs a little bit more splatters, just a tiny bit of black splatters. So today it's a new color day, I'm not going to use anything else. I want to give it some support from underneath. My spread feels a little bit too much like if it's floating. And this way it has like a support at the bottom.
That's it for today's spread. I hope you liked the process. If so, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. At the end of this video, you can click on the photo of my face, which will take you directly to the subscribe page. I'll be back next Monday with a new Journal on Monday video. Until then, don't forget to put down a layer a day and see you back next time. Butterfly kisses!